yes they are counting in different ways let us know in detail how numbers came into existence evolution of numbers numbers used in counting construction trading even today we are able to see related videos or any video because of numbers numbers are human invention and they have not something we get automatically from nature we cannot tell what were the first numbers because no one wrote them down they were used when people speak they would have needed some way to record how many things they had and remember where they were up to some people use fingers some others use shells pebbles knots on a string or notches made in a piece of wood people counted with pebbles they kept a record of what they had by using pebble to represent each one also kept a group of clay stones inside clay pouches then they invent different symbols for different numbers example 1 a line 10 a rope 100 coil of rope 1000 water lily and so on lines or cuts made on bone remarks the lines of tally marks our present method of writing figures is based on an early arabic geometric design then there is a false assumption that our present method of writing figures is based on angles this was spread over everywhere but this is everything is false assumption the counting numbers 1 2 3 4 and so on are called as natural numbers the natural numbers are all positive numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 and so on they are the numbers which you usually count and they are continue till infinity the set of natural numbers is denoted by capital letter n the set of all natural numbers along with zero are called as a whole numbers the whole numbers is represented by capital letter w let us consider the example of bananas if we count them 1 2 3 4 and so on are called natural numbers let us consider mr tom if he eats one banana we subtract one from this collection we write minus 1 If he eats two bananas, we subtract two from this collection. We write minus two. If he eats three bananas, we write minus three, and so on. These minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and so on are called negative numbers. So the integers are the collection of natural numbers zero and negative numbers. Integers are denoted by the letter Z. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and so on. Negative integers. One, two, three, four, and so on are positive integers. Zero is neither a positive integer nor a negative integers. Integers have many applications in the real world. Example: banks and union credits using this integers. many ways example the negative integers are denoted by the debits and the positive integers are denoted by the credits another example is usage of thermometer if the temperature is above 0 denoted by the positive integer if the temperature is below 0 is denoted by the negative integer are there any numbers between two integers yes there are many numbers between any two integers and they are called as fractions and decimals the numbers which can be written in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 are called rational numbers rational numbers are denoted by the letter q the numbers which are not rational are irrational so irrational numbers are the set of numbers that can be written in the form of p by q so non perfect square numbers like root 2 root 3 root 5 and so on are irrational numbers and irrational numbers are denoted by q dash 
collection of rational and irrational numbers together form real numbers and it is represented with the letter r imaginary numbers are known as complex numbers it is represented as a plus ib where a and b are real numbers and i square is minus 1 seven different letters used in roman numerals letter i is 1 x 10 c 100 m 1000 and v 5 l 50 and d 500 recapitulation is a type of condensed revision let us recapitulate what we have let us start with the counting of numbers the numbers from 1, 2, 3 and so on are called natural numbers. These numbers are denoted by the letter N. If we include 0 in natural numbers, we get the set of whole numbers. Whole numbers are denoted by the letter W. Now, positive numbers 0 and negative numbers gives the set of integers. Integers are denoted by the letter Z. We find positive numbers on right side of zero on number line, negative numbers on left side of zero of number line. Now, do we find numbers between these integers? Yes, we find many numbers between these integers. They are called rational numbers. The numbers which can be written in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are integers, Q is not equals zero. The numbers which cannot be written in the form of P by Q are called irrational numbers. These numbers have fixed position on their number line, but irrational numbers, they do not have a fixed position or the place on number line. They have approximate place on number line. The set of all these numbers is real numbers and these real numbers are denoted by the letter R.